Hi all, welcome to another session of Volcap Tutor. In this session, I am discussing about the physical and chemical properties of 5-membered heterocycle that is furan. So coming to the physical properties of furan, it is a colorless liquid, it is insoluble in water but it is soluble in alcohol and ether. It is having a chloroform like smell and its boiling point is 305 Kelvin and it is having a toxic nature also. Before going to the chemical properties of furan, we have to understand the aromaticity of furan. That is how furan acquire aromatic character just like a benzene. So coming to the structure of furan, it contains two double bonds which are alternate to each other. So all the carbon atoms present in the ring become sp2 hybridized. Moreover, it contains one oxygen atom and which has a lone pair of electrons. And this lone pair of electron help in the delocalization of the pi electron. So that all the carbon atom as well as the oxygen atom present in the ring become sp2 hybridized. So that the furan ring become cyclic and planar in nature. That means it will be lie in the plane. Moreover, the Huckel rule of aromaticity that is 4n plus 2 rule is satisfied in the case of furan. That is 4n plus 2 is equal to the number of pi electron. Here the number of pi electron becomes 6. That is 4 electron from the double room and 2 electron from the oxygen lone pair. So 4n plus 2 is equal to 6 and therefore n becomes a perfect whole number that is 1. This makes the aromaticity of furan. Again, when we compare the aromaticity of furan with other 5-membered heterocycles such as pyrrole or thiophene, the aromatic character of furan is found to be less. Let us look the reason why. The aromatic character of furan, pyrrole as well as thiophene depend upon the availability of the non electron on the hetero atom for the delocalization. Moreover, this availability of the non electrons on the hetero atom depend upon their electronegativity also. So when we look the structure of furan, thiophene and pyrrole, here furan oxygen is having higher electronegativity when compared to the nitrogen present in the pyrrole as well as the sulfur present in the thiophene. So oxygen electronegativity is high means it will attract the lone pair of electron towards itself that is towards oxygen itself. It will not easily donate this lone electron for the delocalization. That is why the aromatic character of furan is less when compared to pyrrole as well as thiophene. So we found that the aromatic character of furan is less when compared to 5-membered heterocycles such as pyrrole and thiophene as well as the benzene. Next we can compare the reactivity of furan with these 5-membered heterocycles such as furan and thiophene as well as the benzene. So the reactivity of furan can be explained with the help of resonance stabilization energy. So when we look the resonance stabilization energy of furan, it is found to be 17 kcal per mole. But in the case of pyrrol, it is found to be 21 kcal per mole. As well as in thiophene, it is found to be 29 and benzene, it is found to be 36 kcal per mole. So if the resonance stabilization energy is high, means it is highly stable. That is, it is a most stable structure. That is most stable aromatic structure and that means it is least reactive. So here the furan resonance stabilization energy is least. That means it is least stable and that means it is highly reactive. Next we can go through the chemical properties of furan. So coming to the structure of furan, it contains two double bonds which are alternate to each other. That means they are conjugated to each other. So, whatever the reaction carried out by a conjugated diene, the furan also has a tendency to give. So, usually a diene undergo addition reaction. So, furan also has a tendency to give the addition reaction just like that of a diene. Similarly, we have already discussed furan is having an aromatic character just like that of a benzene. So, benzene usually undergo electrophilic substitution reaction. So, furan also have a tendency to undergo electrophilic substitution reaction. So, furan can undergo electrophilic substitution reaction as well as the addition reaction similar to that of a diene. Next, we can discuss the addition reactions of furan. One important reaction of furan is the hydrogenation reaction. That is, when furan undergo addition with hydrogen in the presence of catalysts such as palladium or nickel or platinum, 
all the carbon carbon double bond get added with hydrogen that means we are getting tetrahydrofuran as the product next we can discuss the reactivity of furan with oxygen or air actually furan undergo addition with oxygen to form furan 25 peroxide and this 25 peroxide that is furan 25 peroxide is highly reactive and it has a tendency to undergo polymerization reaction so coming to the another important addition reaction that is the Lewis alder reactions of furan so we have already discussed that furan acting as a diene and when we consider the furan if the oxygen atom present in the ring is removed it is acting as a simple 1,3 diene that means diene means it is an electron rich compound and that is it is acting as a nucleophile so when it add with an electrophile what will happen to a furan so the double bond get shipped and a new bond will be formed at the second and third position of the diene and then a new carbon carbon bond that is new single bond will be formed at the first and the fourth position of the furan ring that means it is forming a 1,4 attack in the real salder reactions so when we look the reactions of furan with a metallic and hydrate it will shift that is the double bond of the furan will start to shift and it will form a new bone that is new single bone at the one and the fourth positions of that furan diene and it will result in the formation of a 1,4 attack with the malic anhydrin. After forming the 1,4 attack it can undergo a dehydration if HBr is added that is hydrobromic acid is added. Then we can get thalic anhydride as the product. Before going to the electrophilic substitution reactions of furan we have to understand the resonating structure of furan. So coming to the resonating structure of furan, the furan oxygen is having a lone pair of electron. So this lone pair of electron get start to donating or start to shift and then it form a double bond between the carbon and oxygen and oxygen become positive charge and the negative charge will enter at the third position of the furan ring that is the first resonating structure. So the negative charge from the third position again shift and it will form a double bond between the three and fourth position and then the negative charge will shift at the fifth position of the furan ring that is the second resonating structure. Again the negative charge from the fifth position again shift and then the negative charge will re retain at the second position of the furan ring that is the third resonating structure and again from the second position it can again shift and then it result in the formation of a negative charge at the fourth position. So that is the fourth resonating structure. So from these resonating structure that is 1, 2 and 3 and 4 the negative charge is shifting to all carbon atom. So we can represent the resonance hybrid of furan as the fifth one. So from these resonating structure of furan the most contributing structure are the second and third. That is, when an electrophile is attacking the furan, the mostly the electrophile will attack at the second position as well as the fifth position of the furan. So, coming to the different type of electrophilic substitution reaction, first we can discuss the chlorination of furan. So, when furan undergo chlorination, that is, when we are adding chlorine at high temperature, that is at around 300 Kelvin, we are getting 2 chlorofuran as well as 2 5 dichlorofuran as the product. Next, we can discuss the nitration of the furan, that is, if furan undergo nitration with acetyl nitrate, we are getting 2 nitrofuran as the product. Next is the sulfonation of the furan that is when furan undergo sulfonation that is the treatment with the sulfur trioxide in the presence of pyridine that is acting as a solvent we are getting furan 2 sulfonic acid that is second position of the furan get attacked by the sulfonic acid group. Next is the Friedel-Craft acidation of furan that is when furan react with acetic anhydride in the presence of BF3 that is boron trifluoride in the presence of ether as a solvent we are getting 2 acetyl furan as the product that is termed as a Friedel-Craft acidation reaction. Again when furan is treated with any alkyl halide that is alkyl chloride we can take in the presence of stannous chloride we are getting 2 alkyl furan as the product and this reaction is termed as Friedel-Craft alkylation reactions. Again when furan is treated with hydrogen cyanide in the presence of 
acid that is we can use hydrochloric acid we are getting an aldehyde group at the second position of the furan that is termed as furfural and this reaction is having a name that is termed as gatterman ford's reaction again from furan we can prepare other five membered heterocyclic compounds such as pyrrole and thiophy so let us look how from furan we can synthesize pyrrole so when furan is treated with ammonia at high temperature that is at around 723 kelvin in the presence of catalyst that is alumina that is al2o3 we can get pyrrol similarly we can get thiophene from furan that is when furan is heated with p4s7 we can get thiophene in the laboratory so that is all in this session hope you like this session stay tuned for the next session till then bye